Sometimes this is known as Nizorol, where Nizorol is the brand name of a shampoo. Ketoconazole is an antifungal that was initially developed to treat dandruff and severe psoriasis. So ketoconazole has been shown to be effective in increasing hair number. It's also been shown to be effective in increasing hair diameter, which is somewhat surprising because one of the common side effects of ketoconazole is drying, thinning, and brittle hair. So what's going on there is a little unclear. We'll return to that in a moment. The mechanism of action for ketoconazole is pretty interesting. Remember earlier we were talking about the sebaceous gland and the production of sebum, that oily stuff, whose very name seems to evoke disgust in certain people. Well, ketoconazole can disrupt some of the fungal growth that frankly we all have on our scalp all the time. I know this is a surprise to many of you, but you are constantly bombarded with viruses, bacteria, and funguses all the time but we manage to battle those off with our immune system, either by physical barriers, such as an oil barrier, like the sebum, or through antimicrobial action, so chemical approaches, our immune system, the sebum, et cetera. Ketoconazole acts as an antifungal that in some way seems to reinforce the properties of sebum at keeping out other fungal infections. And the net effect, at least as far as we know, is a mild reduction in DHT. Now, exactly how this happens isn't really clear, 